What's up guys? Welcome back to the Break Barrel Show. This week, I'm gonna shoot some slugs. I've got my Gammo Magnum Gen 2 here, and I'm gonna shoot the H&N 21 grain slugs. Everybody says Break Barrels won't shoot slugs, but I've gotta try it out myself. So, let's dive right on into it. All right guys, we are locked and loaded. I've got the magazine full of slugs. I'm going to shoot a three-shot group and just see how accurate these slugs can be out of a brake barrel. Here we go. Shot number one. Well, that's promising. Can't beat that, especially first shot. Next will probably be all downhill. It's way luck is. Shot two. Was that exactly in the same hole? Here we go, shot three. Kind of afraid to shoot. Those two were perfect shots. Wow. Um, that's 25 yards. Slugs, 21 grains, through a brake barrel. That I wasn't supposed to do that. And use that all day long. All right, let's put these through a chrono. Let's see what they're doing. All right, guys, we're back. We're ready. We have the chrono set up about a foot in front of the gun. We're going to see how much energy and speed we get from the muzzle. Those uh, slugs. Remember, 21 grains. 21 is a little heavy for a break room, 22, but you never know. Slugs have a really good coefficient. So here we go, shot one. That's really not too bad. Uh, 21 green pellet and uh, fairly consistent too. Kind of impressed. This wasn't supposed to shoot slugs. Okay, let's uh, let's go 40 yards and bang some targets. See what they do as far as expansion and impact. All right, let's go on to that. All right, now we have our target downrange, 40 yards. That's in the range when you go hunting. That's where everything matters. I've got three targets, a battery, five eighths piece of uh, particle board, and a monster can. It's full of water. So, should be different types of impacts, and hopefully I can hit all three. I literally have only three slugs left. So, no pressure, huh? Here we go. Shot one. Let's go for the uh, monster can. See how it does. Well, 
That was a solid impact. Let's go for that uh, piece of wood. So far, so good. Last slug. Can I do it? Is the accuracy good enough to take out that battery? 40 yards. That looks like a small battery, too. Here we go. No pressure. Boom. There she goes. All right. Let's go down there. Let's take a look at each object and see what they look like. Hopefully, we got a lot of destruction. The accuracy seems to be on the dot, 40 yards. That's three dead squirrels. All right, guys, let's go check it out. All right, guys, I went down there and got the uh, targets. We did pretty well. The pellet was actually shooting a little high. It hit right up in here. I was aiming about right there. Um, blew the back out. Of course, this is super thin, but it also went through that water. So it looks like it opened up really well. Our second target, it was the uh, 5 8 particle board. As you can see, it shot about an inch and a half high. I didn't adjust from the uh, three shot group at 25. Um, the slug is actually inside. So apparently it hit and really opened up and expanded like you want. Kind of split the board just a little bit. But yeah, it's embedded inside, so it got in and opened up and did its thing. You don't want a total pass through. Our poor Energizer 9 volt battery. I think we killed the bunny. It looks pretty devastated. So, what do you guys think? H&N, 21 grain slugs, and a Gamo. Gen 2, 22 cal. They're just not supposed to shoot slugs, but it did today, and it did a darn good job. So, go out and get you a couple different uh, weights and mess with the uh, slug size and you just might find one that your gun likes and it may shoot it really well. All right guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.